Hey guys, today I will be talking about the Dugu Nagara Kuala Lumpur National Monument, Malaysia. Malaysian National Monument or Tugunagara is an emotive 15 meter high bronze statue on a low hill overlooking the Kuala Lumpur Lake Gardens, Taman Botani, Perdana. The National Monument is a sculpture that commemorates those who died in Malaysia's struggle for freedom, principally against the Japanese occupation during World War II and the Malayan Emergency, which lasted from 1948 to 1960. It is located in the federal capital, Kuala Lumpur. The Malaysian Houses of Parliament are situated near the monument. It is a world's tallest bronze freestanding sculpture grouping. Every year on 31st July on Warriors Day, the young Lipitran Agong, the Prime Minister and the heads of Malaysian Armed Force and the Royal Malaysia Police pay their respects to the fallen heroes by laying garlands at the monument. Kuala Lumpur Centograph Originally intended to commemorate the Great War 1940-1918 and honor those from the British Malayan colonies who were killed in the war, the Centograph's inscription would later include the fallen British Malaysian soldiers of World War II after the conclusion of World War II and resumption of British rule. National Monument The concept of a national monument was mooted by the Malaysia's first Prime Minister, Tunku Abdul Rahman, who was inspired by the Marine Corps' war memorial during his visit to the United States in October 1960, before personally meeting Felix de Weldon for a favor to design the monument. Design Commissioned in 1963 and constructed in 1966, the sculpture that stands as the centerpiece of the monuments is 15 meters tall, made of bronze and was designed by the Austrian sculptor Felix de Weldon. The sculpture depicts seven figures. The monument depicts the victory of the forces of democracy, peace and freedom over that of communism. Names of the fallen are engraved on the plaques of the centograph as a token of tribute to their sacrifices. This is the Asian Sculpture Garden. Asian Sculpture Garden was established in 1987 in commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN. Located within Tun Abdul Razak Heritage Park, it contains a variety of public art installations by renowned artists from Singapore, Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand, Indonesia and Brunei. These sculptures are made from materials such as wood, glass, steel, marble, iron, and bamboo. With detailed inscriptions for each artwork in English and Malay, perfect for those looking to enjoy some peace and quiet in KL City Center. 
ASEAN Sculpture Garden is less crowded than other areas in the Lake Gardens Kuala Lumpur. S-E-A-N dance, Brunei Darussalam. It's simple, to preserve the old and welcome the new. Created by Abu Bakar bin Abdul Rahman. Progress Thailand. The artists use stainless steel, an industrial material to emphasize the industrial progress of ASEAN. The maker, Iti Kongaku. Growth, Malaysia. It shapes 20 slabs in a curving movement from a low profile to the upwards, symbolizing the growth of ASEAN during the first 20 years. Created by Said Ahmad Jamal with material including Malaysia marble slabs and reinforced concrete. Barong Barong, Philippines A modern interpretation of old type architecture popular in ASEN region made by Jerusalino V. Aroas and of many material including steel and glass Towards peace, Singapore. There are six sculptures symbolizing the progress in unity, growth, peace, and harmony. Of ASEAN with six members together, created by Han Sai Por with Malaysia Marble.
like and subscribe to my channel make sure to click the bell icon see you guys later bye